Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are a first time visitor, welcome and thank you. First off, let me start by acknowledging all of the weird sounds in the background of this video. I have my washing machine and my drying machine both going so you will hear some whirling and quite possibly a buzzard going off in the background at some point. I also have a cuckoo clock in the room and um, yeah, that might be going off too. So welcome to the sights and sounds <laughs> of what is my new crafting space. Some interesting sights and sounds. But anyway, let me share with you what I picked up from Tuesday morning. This is a cumulative haul. I'm going to try to get it all in one video. I, I, I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. We'll see how far we get. Um, I believe it's probably going to be one of those things where I'll share with you the non-paper pad and non-paper items first. And then probably in a second video, I'll share the paper product items. I don't know if my camera's zoomed in a little too close here. So I'm going to pull you back a tiny bit. I should have done this before and I thought I had it set up properly. But anyway... I saw this embroidery hoop kit and it is absolutely adorable so I picked it up I love doing embroidery I usually do the smaller kits um, but this one was too cute to pass up and I will share with you the information there it is but um, I can't wait to start working on this one I do have a few others I have to get through first before I can start this one but this is really cute and I think it'll look really cute once it's done here in my craft room we have some bow bunny chipboard stickers this one's really cute this is um from it looks like butterfly kisses is the collection and there is the information here are the pieces really pretty can definitely use this in a lot of different ways let me take a second to lower the volume on the television yeah and we have a television blasting in the background too. talk about overstimulation I saw these stitch happy kits by we are memory keeper and I saw it in red and in black so I picked these up I do do a lot of sewing especially as of late with my Girl Scouts and the bronze award that they are working on um, having to do a lot of sewing so I thought these would be perfect the colors are ideal and I love that the bobbins are already um, loaded it's probably one of my least favorite things to do when I'm sewing is to um, wind or load the bobbins not fun so that is the information on the black and here is the information on the red those are the only two colors they had if they had more colors I would have picked up more colors these are adorable they had a lot of dilutions and Vicky Booten in the house quite a bit of mixed media actually these are super cute I picked up two of them for two dollars and fifty cents here is the information and I love these you have a little elastic band in the front and you have a zipper pouch here it's really nice quality it's lined on the inside you can store just about anything in these I bought one for me and one for Happy Mail or maybe I'm just going to slide that into my giveaway stash which is <laughs> that giveaway stash box is wow that's all I gotta say <laughs> they had <laughs> some Project Life packets I love this particular set I already have um, enough Project Life I have a, a, a tiny little like shoe size bin with Project Life, so I tend not to buy any more. But this was really cute. This is, um, these are the four by six cards. It's called Ink Rose. And I actually adore these. I think what I'm gonna end up doing with these is sliding them into the journals that I'm making for my Girl Scouts. 
um, which I will be sharing that video with you guys. Hopefully I'll be able to sit down and film that today so you can see what I've been doing for them. But I think these will be so fun to include in their books. So I bought one pack of that. That's all I need. Here we have a nice stack of different little things. These are Chamel um, patches. This one, it's I think called Box of Crayons. And how cute are these patches? Really, really cute. I'm going to be adding these to my daughter's jean jacket. She has a jean jacket that is full, filled with all different patches. And um, hopefully she'll like these. If not, I can easily put these in to my junk journals or use them for ATCs or any sewing projects that I might have. I think that's a toucan behind there. So really pretty. It's by American Crafts. So definitely got that. Here we have some stickers, 99 cents. These are also, these are by uh, me and my big idea, 99 cents. Really cute. Um, this is great for journaling or scrapbooking. ATCs as well, all card making, really pretty. Um, I will definitely be using these for Girl Scout projects. You all know, at least twice a year, I have these major Girl Scout projects that I have to do for our Court of Awards. We have Court of Awards twice a year, and twice a year I'm making these major projects for my girls. So I don't think twice about um, hauling these when I see them because they always, always end up going to good use. Um, here we have more stickers. These are by Memento. This is a mermaid theme one. Really pretty. Really pretty. How cute are these? Really cute. I'm super excited about the project I'm working with or working on for them now, which is the, um, the mini altered book journals that I'm doing. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. Or different cacti and I can't wait to share that with you guys so that you can see where I've been what I've been doing I know I haven't been filming much in terms of process videos that's because the project I'm working on now for them it's like the first time I'm doing anything like this and of course you know if it's the first time you're doing it why not do it big <laughs> the scale is ridiculous I'm doing basically um, a dozen I'm making a dozen um, junk journals is what I'm doing and I'm on a timeline for it so I'm working all weird hours of the day of the night um, and so I'm just working 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 trying to get them done and I can't wait to share them with you here are some um, craft litter uh, not litter glitter bags 12 bags these are pretty awesome Let's see if we have a size here somewhere. Unfortunately, it doesn't, um, doesn't have a size. It doesn't have a size. But these look big enough to fit an A2 size card inside of them or to alter them. So I got a bag of that. I got another bag of these. Um, these are by uh, We Are Memory Keeper. And again, these are party favorite bags with a little window. I've been using these a lot in my projects. Really nice. We got that. Let me share with you a bunch of little, I guess, ephemera packs. These are by M&R Craft Shop. I don't know this company, but these are really adorable. This particular pack comes with 16 pieces. There's the information. Are we focusing? Let's focus. Come on. There we go. And this is basic. This is birthday themed and or cake or sweet treat themed. Um, so basically, you have a lot of little ephemera, 16 little pieces, tags um, that you can use to for anything, my friends. Anything. Um, so and for the price, why not? I love the colors. I got quite a few different packs of these i wish it had the pictures on the back so you can see the individual pieces but um this one is called i think sweet 16 right or something to that effect really cute there's that pack here's another one this one is 
the congratulations. These are great little um, tags with sentiments on them. As you can see, you can use these to add sentiments to cards, to page layouts, to happy mail, you name it. Colors are really cute. Price is reasonable, so why not? I got that pack. Here's another. This one is more um, floral and birds. Really pretty. My goodness, how pretty are these? Super pretty. Here's the information. That's really pretty. You can use these to add dimension to your project. You name it. Here's another one. This one is flowers. Again, 16 pieces. Same company. I love that you get different sizes. You get squares, circles, rectangles, a little bit of everything it looks like. Okay. Um, oh, I'm almost tempted to open them, but if I start opening packets, this video will just go on and on forever. So... Oh, I might have to open this one. Let's open this one. This one's so, this is like ridiculously cute. This is another happy birthday one, but I think it's all kitty theme. Here's the information. Let's open this one. I can't resist. I love kitties. We're going to pause. We're going to do it. Maybe if I can get it open. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. Oh, there's the cuckoo clock. You hear it? <laughs> this is too cute. These are all birthday theme for you. Happy birthday. Queen for a day. These are absolutely adorable. And these kitties are absolutely adorable. It's good, thick, quality cardstock. So I can attest to the, the quality of it. That's for sure. It feels nice. Um, I love the colors. They're vibrant, great colors. Oh my god, how cute is that? So these will be cute for tags on gift bags, for tags on wrapped presents, for um, sentiments on birthday cards. Super cute. So excited I got those. From the same company, I found these um, um, tags. My goodness. These are gift tags. Um, and of course you don't necessarily have to use them just for gifts. You can use them for just about anything. Um, I love these. I'm going to be tucking these into my girls' journals. Their journals have several pockets and I will be stuffing their pockets with these tags. So really awesome. You get 12 pieces. It looks like you get six of each. Six of this one. Six of that one. Here's another one, 12 pieces. This one is floral, six of that one, six of that one. Here we have more of those kitties, I love these. Here's that information. I wonder if they, I didn't see any doggies, so I would have bought, if they had dogs, I would have bought those too. Here's six of this kind, and six of those. Super pretty. Here we have some birds. Six of this one. Six of these. You can also layer these tags onto um, cards. Like this would make a really cute birthday card. You know, you're, you're limited solely by your imagination, nothing else. So, and you get six of those. So how cute would it be to make smaller cards? Or you can even make a two size cards. If you have some really nice pattern paper, nice large sentiment, you can layer this onto it to add some dimension. It's awesome. Can't go wrong. In keeping with ephemera, I might as well jump over to the ephemera packs that I picked up. This is by Pebbles. Um, this has a kind of 4th of July theme going here land that i love is what i believe it's called now i <laughs> and there's the dryer <laughs> everything's going off like clockwork 
<laughs> Goodness. Oh, between the cuckoo clock, the drying machine, the washing machine. <laughs> then I have the alarms upstairs and Alexa. My life is pretty much being controlled by other contraptions in the house. <laughs> this one's called Hello Dreamer. What I was saying was, um, I think I'm going to work on a kind of July 4th. USA themed um, little junk journal. I found this awesome little book at a vintage uh, yard sale or yard sale that was selling vintage items. I'm just going to do a little research on the book, make sure the book has, you know, it's not a valuable book. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm going to gut it and make a journal. So I, I'll, I'll be showing those books to you in a later video. But um, here's a different set. This one is by Hello Dreamer. I think it's an American Crafts. Yeah. And it's part of the American Dreamer collection. And this is what comes in that. This one is My Mind's Eye. And it's a mixed bag of 55 pieces of ephemera. Cute. Here's the information. There's, you can see some of the items, the cameras, donuts, some sentiments. Really cute. Really, really cute. And this is another pack of that same Hello Dreamer one, I believe. Yes. Um, I will be adding these to my girls' journals. That's why I got two of them. But if you missed it the first time, here's the information. Okay. So you have that. We're almost done here. <laughs> I did find some crafter companions. Um, dies. These three I got because I recently purchased some Victorian um, books and magazines all in preparation of working on a, another junk journal that's Victorian themed. And um, so these and thought these would be fun to cut out and add to the uh, the book. This one is the lady's boot. And if it turns out I don't use them, you want to guess where they're going? <laughs> In my giveaway box. <laughs> Boy, I should really have that giveaway more sooner than later. This is part of the Victorian collection, by the way. This is the feather hat die. Oh, I should show you here. This is what the uh, boot looks like. It says that it is 1.5 by 2.3 inches. That's the boot. The hat is 2.7 by 2.1. Really cute. And here is the teapot. And this one is, or this is called tea set. And this is 3 by 2.3 inches cute okay um, I haven't found much from that enchanted forest collection that I see so many people hauling um, today was the first time that I found any of it actually and what I found were three embossing folders I didn't find any of the stamp sets which is a shame um, so if anyone out there has extra stamp sets or if you see them at your store, um, I have a lot. We'll trade. <laughs> you can check out my haul videos. If there's something in there that you might be interested in trading for, reach out to me. That'll be awesome. But um, I did find the Enchanted Forest embossing folders. Lord knows I don't need any more embossing folders, but these were too cute to pass up. There's the one... Uh, this one's called Mysterious Garden. And then we have, let's see, what's this one called? I don't know what this one is called. Hmm. Oh, here, let me show you Mysterious Garden again because I think the back has a clear idea, uh, image, I should say, of what it would look like once it's embossed. This one, I'm going to fold back a little bit so you can get the information. This one's really pretty. Oh, yeah. Here's the name right here. Dreamland. Dreamland is the name of that one. Pretty cool. 
and then this one is called Toad Stool Garden. And these are five, these are all five by seven embossing folders. Here's the information on that one. Really pretty, really, really, really pretty. So these are the three, the only three that I found for the Enchanted Forest collection, but at least I found that, right? So that's that. Here's another embossing folder. This one is Rustic Cottage Embossing Folder. This one's also five by seven and it is called Rose Garden. Isn't it pretty? Super pretty. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Here's the information. Then I found some of these fabric appliques. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so cute. This is a sewing mach sewing machine, like an old vintage style sewing machine. Super cute. These are by so so little time. Dollar nineteen. Absolutely worth it because what the amount of time it would take me to create something like this, it's worth me just paying the dollar nineteen. Absolutely adorable. All you have to do is either sew this onto your project or glue it onto your project. Loved it so much. <laughs> you got three of them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, loved it. And here we have another one. This is like a teepee. How cute. Really cute. I got three of those. Mm-hmm. I did, I did. And then <laughs> um, Vicky Booten was in the house. So I was excited about these. This one's a real treat. This is a watercolor set. You get 18 tubes of watercolor paint. And each tube is 0.17 fluid ounces. Uh, 18 different colors. These are the colors right here. Here is the price. So I will be playing with these for sure. Now I recently ordered a 60 piece set of Arteza uh, paints and I got an awesome deal on that using a coupon code from um, that I picked up from watching another video from a card maker here on YouTube so I was super excited about that um, those should be getting here within the next uh, probably sometime this coming week but this is awesome those are acrylic paints these are watercolor paints um, I have both acrylic and watercolor paints. My paints are over 10 years old. Yeah, so they need a little pick-me-up. They're a little sad. <laughs> so this was an awesome deal. Glad I found those. And this was a nice surprise. These are Art Crayons by Vicky Booten. And I they had three different sets. And so I pick up all three. These are water-soluble. Um, they had, uh, what was it? They had, I think it was a cool set, a warm set, and a neutral set. So this is the cool set, cool colors. When they say cool, they're referring to the colors. And that's, those are the colors in this set. This is the warm there we go and then this is the neutral so they also have them labeled as set one two and three so set one two and three are identical to the cool warm and neutral set i mean i don't know why it's tagged that way the way it's tagged you would think it's like six standalone sets but it's really three standalone sets um but in some stores they're labeled warm colors cool colors neutral colors and in others they're labeled set one two and three and my store had them both but I compared them to, to see if they were the same, but they are identical. So one, two, and three is the same as warm, cool, and neutral. So don't get um, 
fooled into buying all six thinking oh i need a complete set i need to buy all six no you just need three that's all that was available that i saw anyway but um super excited about these i'm probably going to be playing with these <laughs> this and the watercolors in my art journal at some point later tonight so i will definitely get back to you on how um they work for the price i don't mind um i'm at 25 minutes i'm going to i'm going to try to sneak in the paper i'm going to try to do the paper let's get the paper in here so i found this um these natural texture sheets by ek tools here is the information and what you get here are textured papers you get three there are two you get different styles of texture that you can punch texture paper that you can punch out to create um flowers if you want or whatever punch out you may have um you can also lay these to create different texture backgrounds which is what i like to do so really fun you can even use these to map picture frames if you have picture frames that size i found this royal christmas six by six paper pad collection who is this by royal christmas collection um, by whispering no by webster pages here is the information i got two of these because one is going in my giveaway so I'm not opening that one, but here's the one I'm keeping. I did open it so that I can share with you what they look like. Aren't they gorgeous? And it's double-sided paper. Super pretty. Very pretty. How gorgeous is that? So it looks like you get two of each. Isn't that beautiful? How cute is that? These are nice. Could be little cut aparts or it could just as is. And I love with double sided paper when you get two of each. Um, so it certainly have the option of using both sides. Double sided paper I love, but at the same time, it gives me such anxiety because you have to decide which side you want to use and more importantly, what side you're going to sacrifice, which is always the hardest thing to decide. Really pretty. Look at these windows, all dressed up. Really pretty. What the back looks like. Get two of those. Here we have some Christmas lights. Two of those. I don't know if can you see. It's like uh, two little, or at least one. Oh, pear deer. Here we have these beautiful red flowers. I don't know the names of those flowers. I'm just not good like that. <laughs> this is really pretty too. very pretty then you have these two and then of course you have the back so that is what that looks like here's a paper pad six by six by my my mind's eye this one is called splendor really pretty also double-sided look at the swans the swans are super cute let's flip it over to the other side So that is that one. Here's the Bow Bunny one. This one is Butterfly Kisses. This actually goes with the um, chipboard um, sheet that I bought earlier and showed you earlier. And 36 pages, single sided. I'm pretty sure I already have one of these. I will double check. 
And if I do, guess where this is going? Can we all say it together? The giveaway stash. <laughs> and then we have the also My Mind's Eye, another six by six. This one is Gal Meets Glam. 24 sheets of double-sided cardstock paper, 12 unique designs with gold foil accents. Ooh la la. There's the information. Did I show you the information on Bow Bunny? Just in case I didn't. That's the butterfly one. Okay, here's the Girl Meets Glam. Okay. Pretty. Look at her. Goodness gracious, she's nice. Cute. Okay, and then we're gonna flip over. Very nice, very nice, very nice. <laughs> And then I found this Harry Potter cardstock collection, eight designs, two of each, double-sided, 16 sheets, $3.99. And that's what comes in that one. Now, in my last haul video, I shared where I got, here, I can actually reach for it because it's still right here. <laughs> I got this. Um, a4 paper kit Harry Potter themed I got this last time I went to Tuesday morning so this and this are buds so I'm going to put them back <laughs> in their paper slot together so that's where they will be together forever until I use them anyway and then finally finally my friends this is a sketchbook it's called, um, I thought it was, yeah, it's uh, Sierra Sketchbook Dots. And here is the information. The price is insane. Look how, look at that price. $3.99. And let me show you how awesome this sketchbook is. So it has like this little belly band. It's really cute. It's a like a little, almost like a belt that you can cinch to make it tighter. Um, and keep the book closed uh, you can loosen it and slide it down which is what I'm doing it's attached to the back by these elastics you can remove it I suppose um, and it's really loaded with um, sketching paper the paper is not super thick but it's not super thin either it's a nice quality it's definitely not mixed media quality worthy i think if you add water or paint or any type of wet uh, medium to this it is just going to fall apart and be a hot mess this would be a great blue book um sketchbook sticker book um scene book you name it if you actually want to draw and sketch this is the way to go but i don't think i would put paper or water to this paper because i don't think anything good um will come of that but nonetheless the price is awesome you can also um, remove some of these pages and use them for die cutting or for pages in a card or whatever um, if you're looking for something that you know it's it's a little heavier than printer paper but not quite as thick as cardstock paper because Lord knows as a crafter we have different papers for different things and even with all the papers we have we never quite have the paper we need when when we're working on a project you, you, you always need a paper that's between um, two that you already have so <laughs> <laughs> that's the story right it's always like that but that is my oh no <laughs> I take that back oh my gosh guys it's the never-ending video I forgot these three paper pads let me share them to you real quick um, these are by DCWV and here's the information oh my gosh I can't believe I forgot about these can we focus 
it doesn't want to focus so I will read this number to you is two one two seven four two six and it is a 12 by 12 bright colors paper pad these are bright metallics by die cuts with a view and it's double-sided and the colors are gorgeous and they do have like a metallic shine to them beautiful look at these colors absolutely stunning so these will be going into my 12 by 12 bins under die cuts with a view if you're curious about how I organize my paper pads I did do a video where I share that I don't know why I'm flipping and showing you the other side it's the exact same I will link that video down below so that you can check that out this is the shimmer stack and um, again this is by die cuts with a view here is that information these colors are stunning aren't they beautiful beautiful just enough shimmer to be cute not too much to be obnoxious <laughs> It's a nice balance. I like it. So that is that one. And then finally, this is um, by Paper House. Absolutely gorgeous. It is called Field Study. Field Study. Here's the information. Gorgeous. So this includes a sticker sheet. So this is a really full-on collection. You get 48 sheets and um i believe that no they're not they're single-sided and they are stunning aren't they beautiful the butterflies you can fussy cut those if you really wanted to cut apart are very pretty these would be gorgeous for scrapbooking if you have no fear of ripping into it it's also good for decoupaging junk journaling and here's the sticker sheet right there oh my gosh so now i can officially say done done and did we get it under 30 nope closer to 40 oh boy this is gonna be fun to upload thank you so so much for watching my friends i truly do appreciate it if you are a first time visitor and you haven't been driven to absolute insanity by a 40 minute long video <laughs> on products that i picked up from tuesday morning come back and visit me. I would appreciate it. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.